incident that police say took place on a JetBlue flight from New York's JFK to Salt Lake City. A passenger allegedly held a small blade to the throat of another passenger. ABC's Elizabeth Schultz joins us now from Washington. Good morning to you, Elizabeth. Hey, Eva, good morning. Federal prosecutors have now charged a man with bringing a weapon on an aircraft and assault after this disturbing incident on a passenger flight earlier this week. For JetBlue. This morning, a Utah man is facing federal assault charges after police say he brought a razor blade onto a plane and then allegedly held it up to a woman's throat during the flight. Pocket knife has been removed from the aggressor. Video shows police escorting the man, identified as 41-year-old Merrill Daryl Fackrell, off the JetBlue flight after it landed Monday in Salt Lake City. Passengers now describing what they called a terrifying scene. And I can tell he has something in his hand, which I think is a weapon. Federal prosecutors say Fackrell was in a window seat next to a woman when he placed his hand on her screen and told her to pause her movie. Authorities say the woman told police that's when she noticed his hand was clutched inches away from her throat, holding a one to two inch straight edge razor blade. She said she lunged for the aisle, her husband sitting next to her alerting flight attendants. She was able to break away and run to the front. I'd never seen like a woman run so quickly. The midair scare coming just weeks after a man allegedly brought two box cutters onto a Frontier Airlines plane. GMA's George Stephanopoulos pressing the TSA administrator on how that man got through security. We take our, our security mission incredibly seriously. It's really an all-hands-on-deck effort uh, for us in TSA, from the local uh, airport all the way up to headquarters. We have um, changed our training procedures a bit and changed our standard operating procedures a bit. Um, and so I'm comfortable that uh, we have closed the vulnerabilities. But new questions arising after this latest incident, as millions hit the skies this holiday weekend. I'm like, how did he get past security? I don't know. Now, we reached out to Fackrell's lawyers for comment and haven't heard back yet. The TSA said it's working with authorities on this incident, and JetBlue added that its crew members worked to de-escalate this incident. Janae. Tough news to hear ahead of a big holiday, a big travel holiday. All right, Elizabeth, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.